Hello and welcome to Daily Wellness. I am Emily Brown. I'm doing my medical residency and challenging myself to do yoga every day for a year. This is now day 31, I believe, and it's been wonderful so far. Thank you for those of you that are um, doing your own journey. You're welcome to join in with me anytime. So today it was a very full day in the hospital. I got to care for a lot of patients and learn a lot, work with a great team. And just to help my body process the day, I'm going to come and sit with my legs out in front of me. And I'm going to put my palms on the ground. I'm just laughing at the spastic cat that may or may not come into frame. And I'm going to inhale long here, roll my shoulders down the back, maybe make an adjustment with my hands. And I'm going to close my eyes and feel my breath move in and out of my body. My toes are staying really active, almost pointing towards my body. And now pressing slightly back into the earth, I'm going to um, move my hands a little bit behind me, look up, arch my back, and then come back into a neutral position with my hands here. I'm, I'm going to wave my feet back and forth like windshield wipers. And then I'm going to place my right palm on the earth beside me and reach up and over with my left arm, feeling one long line of energy from my left hip to my left pinky. Still keeping feet really active here. And then I'm going to roll through all the way to the other side, placing left palm on the earth beside me, inhaling right arm up and over, kind of shining my heart up towards the sky, I can gaze up at my right arm or out neutrally in front of me, whatever's more comfortable. And from here, I'm going to bend my right knee, place sole of right, right foot up on um, left inner thigh. And I'm going to hook my thumb between my two biggest toes on my left foot, keep my left foot nice and strong, shine my left palm to the ground as I reach out to the right with my right hand, thumb up. And I'm going to inhale here, and then twist a little deeper to the right. Feeling that release in the right arm, right chest. And then from here, I'm going to kick my legs out in front of me, bend my knees quickly back and forth, giving my leg a massage against the ground. Now I'm going to bend left foot, placing left sole against right thigh, hook my right thumb between around, or around my biggest toe, and then reach out with my left arm. Inhaling and exhaling, twisting a little deeper. Inhaling, exhaling, maybe leaning a little bit more into that front leg. And feeling the breath move my body. And from here, I'm gonna bring the soles of my feet together. Inhale long long in my spine as I clasp my hands around my toes and then exhale bow over my feet I can place my hands maybe my forearms on the ground and just appreciate this moment of stillness when there's nothing else on the to-do list to do right now because this is protected time. Very important to get back to our bodies. Inhale and exhale. And from here, I'm gonna press both palms into the earth. Step right foot back, step left foot back, come into a nice buoyant dynamic plank, rocking back and forth on my toes. And then finding stillness. 
And I'm going to slowly lower down as slow as I want to. And then inhale up into upward facing dog which feels amazing at the end of a long day. Somehow today, more so than other days. I'm just feeling that stretch in my hips as I press the top of my feet into the earth. I'm gonna tuck my toes, reach my hips high and my heels low, coming into a downward facing dog. I'm gonna bend one knee and the other, shake my head out. Come up onto the balls of my feet and then lower heels down again. I'm going to inhale my right leg up and exhale, step it through between my hands and bring my left knee down to the earth. Then I'm going to plant my left palm into the earth and inhale my right fingertips up to the sky. Coming into a gentle supported twist. Inhaling and exhaling, feeling one long line of energy from hand to hand. Keeping in touch with that right knee, making sure it stays over the right ankle. One more breath to inhale here and exhale. Plant both palms and step right foot back, left foot back, coming into plank again, feeling strong. Exhaling as I lower down and inhale through upward facing dog option to take a cobra if you want which is like a less popping off the ground version of up dog and i'm going to come back into downward dog reaching my hips high and heels low palms and soles pressing into the earth i'm going to inhale my left leg up exhale step it through put it where my um, left hand was as i take a knee my right knee down to the earth Right hand stays where it is as I inhale, left fingertips up to the sky. Inhaling to lengthen through my spine and exhaling, twisting a little deeper, shining my heart upward and leftward. Inhaling and exhaling. Seeing what else I can relax in this pose. Maybe my jaw. Maybe my belly. What else can you relax? Only you know the answer. And I'm gonna press right back into downward dog from here. And take a moment. Feel my breath, feel, hear my breath. From here, I'm gonna inhale right foot up again, really up up and over and out, bending that knee, and make a little circle with your ankle. Inhale your leg up and straight behind you now, and then as you exhale, you can bring it through between your hands, um, making your feet stand on railroad tracks about hips width distance apart, and option to come up on um, left toes so that all 10 toes are pointing forward in this high high lunge pose. I'm gonna inhale my arms up, shoulders roll down the back, palms are parallel. Inhale and exhale, great waker upper for any time of day. Inhale to gaze up and exhale, plant both palms, step right foot back to meet the left. Inhale, long and strong in plank, and then slowly lower down, elbows hugging in towards the ribs. Now I'm gonna inhale up again, back coming to the tops of my feet, an upward facing dog. And exhale, tuck my toes, reach my hips high, heels low, into downward facing dog. Really pressing that space of my um, pointer finger on both hands into the mat. I'm going to inhale my left leg up and then out, bending that left knee. Taking a moment here to breathe. And inhaling my um, left foot out behind.
behind me. I'm going to exhale and um, plant my left foot where my left hand was, making sure I'm steady, all 10 toes facing forward as I come up to high lunge on the left hand side. I can press my hands into that left thigh before I inhale both arms up and breathe here. Maybe play around, see how it feels to be higher, to be lower. That front knee working towards 90 degrees, but I'm not strict with the numbers. This is more about how it feels. And I'm gonna lift my heart, lift my thoughts. Inhale up between my palms and exhale. Bring both palms down, stepping left foot back to meet the right. Inhaling strong through plank, exhaling. As I lower down with control, elbows hugging into ribs, and then inhale to upward facing dog, and exhale into downward facing dog. And breathing here. I'm gonna come onto my knees and inhale my arms out wide. Wide, 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 almost as if I'm gonna eventually reach my fingertips to touch each other behind my back. Feeling that release in my shoulders, in my upper chest. And then I'm gonna bring my hands to support my low back as I gaze up, up and over. And if it feels right to you, you can maybe gently reach for right heel with right hand and left heel with left hand. And gaze up and over even more. You can Gently hold your lips closed as you relax your face in this camel pose. And we're gonna make our way back up gently, slowly, the way we came, supporting low back, gazing up. And as we exhale, Rounding all the way through child's pose, I'm going to bring my knees together, heels together. Let my back curl over my legs, arms out in front of me. Or maybe palms up by my toes. And breathe here. Long inhale and exhale. Letting the weight of your forehead just pour into the earth. And then slowly come to sit. Be over your knees in a hero's pose because you're somebody's hero. Now I'm gonna rub my hands together, feeling the warmth between them. And then I'm gonna cup my hands over my eyes, just feeling nourished by my eyelids, nourished by the gentle heat from my hands. And see what else I can relax. What other muscles in my face? I'm gonna just run my hands over my ears, over my neck. Give it a squeeze. Thank my neck for supporting my head today. I'm gonna um, put my right hand over the back of my neck and lean my head into my right arm here. And breathe and then replace 
right hands with left hand. I'm going to bring right fingertips to the earth as I let my head fall to the left and be supported by my left arm. I'm going to let that go and then bring both palms out in front of me, almost like I'm swimming in a, a breaststroke motion. Except I'm probably not if anyone's a swimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly not pro. I'm going to inhale and as I inhale I'm bringing my palms together and pushing them in front of me and then swimming my arms out to the side. And a nice leisurely inhale and exhale. Bring the palms together and then bringing them apart. And then finally, I'm going to clasp my hands behind my back, reach forward with my heart as I pull back with my hands, hands reaching towards the earth as I squeeze, stress out from my shoulders, and I can sway my hands back and forth. And then I'm going to shake out my hands, shake out my wrists, Make circles with my shoulders to the front and to the back. And finally, come to perhaps the most comfortable seat of the day. Inhale here. Take a moment for gratitude and bringing palms to heart center. Gratitude for so many people and so many things. And thank you so much for tuning in. Namaste.